Part B, uh, very, very wordy. Um, but realistically, the first part is literally asking you, we're looking at a significance level of 5% of 0 0.05, right? So what they're asking you, what is the um, not, sig not statistically significant level? 95%. 1 minus 0 0.05 gives me 95%. That's all the answer to part one is. Part two, on the other hand, is a little bit more involved. What it basically is looking at is it's looking at what are the, the breakdowns of these tests? So they're saying if we're gonna do two tests, what is the breakdown? If the first test is not significant 95% of the time, then the second test we run, so this would be just if we were doing it twice, um, not significant 95% of the time, significant 5% of the time. Or the first test was significant and the second test was not. And the, and the first one is significant and the second one is significant. It's a tree diagram. So we label these things 0 0.95 is not significant, 0 0.95 is not significant, 0 0.05 is significant, 0 0.05 is significant, significant. This is what our uh, tree diagram looks like. And since the problem said these tests are all independent of one another, we're allowed to multiply. So the probability of two not significant tests is 0.95 times 0.95, which gives me 0.9025. Uh, then I can do that for all the other ones. So this is the probability of being not significant and then significant. So that's 0.95 times 0.05, which is 0.0475. Uh, same thing holds here, but it's just reversed, 0.0475. And this last one is the probability of two significant tests. The reason I did this, I did the full tree diagram, is because the tree diagram asks the following question. What is the probability of at least one significant test? So in other words, what it's asking for, this branch right here, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one, what is the probability of these three things happening? These are all mutually exclusive events because they can't happen at the same time. So that means I can add all of these probabilities together, get 0.0975. Uh, I'm going to show you the way that I usually do it. What I did is I realized that this is the only thing we didn't want. Anytime I see at least one, I think of the rule one minus uh, what I don't want. In this case, what I didn't want was two not significant tests. So 0 0.9025. The complement to that, one minus that, gives me that same 0 0.0975.